speaking, we all know debt is not good to have. However, debt should not always be treated equally. So let's take a look. Believe it or not, taking on certain debt could help you financially over the long term. So here are some examples of good debt. Mortgage to buy a home, student loans to get an education. Looking at mortgage loans, you will find that with the exception of the Great Recession, home ownership over the long term can increase your net worth as you pay off the loan while the house appreciates in value. But I need to highlight that you will still need to treat your house with care. Neglecting regular maintenance and repairs can devalue your home and investment return. The next type of good debt I want to highlight is student loans. Basically, getting an education could help you earn a higher wage, which will allow you to pay off your loan while also improving your quality of life. Now that is a plus. But you do need to focus on high demand skills when looking at an education and generally steering clear of for-profit colleges. For most, an education is an investment. So when selecting your college and borrowing money, you still need to ensure you can get a return on your investment. So let's quickly look at some examples of bad debt, which include payday loans, credit cards, and borrowing money for risky investments. Look, I get it. Debt is never good to have. However, if your return on investment, your ROI, is greater than your interest paid, then you have good debt. Remember, not all debt is bad. However, building a plan to become debt-free will set you on the right course. Thank you, and I hope this video helped, and have a good day.